Welcome back to Alon Paul's Permadeath playthrough. We're going to pick up where we left off. Now, as some of you have seen in the last episode or episodes, you notice that I now have at Atlant one of the new Sentinel, Sentinel? No, uh, Atlantid, Atlantid staffs. So, uh, very interesting uh, weapon here, or multi-tool, I should say. Um, it's got a lot of promise to it. Of course, it's got, it's got supercharged slots on it, but it's only C-class. We really look to get a better, uh, a better unit, if you will, or a better staff at some point. So we're going to worry about that later. This thing has great properties for being able to mine stuff. The mining beam on it is always pretty decent, um, but the other one is much, much better. So uh, I'm going to go back to my alternate multi-tool at this point. Uh, which one was it? Good grief, I don't even know anymore. Uh, so that's the new staff. Uh, I don't think it was Dreams of Peace. Was it Dreams of Peace? Gosh, I don't know anymore. No, that wasn't it. Now I gotta remember what, what multi-tool I used using last. Uh, Home of the Night? Neutron Probe? Oh, that's pretty cool. I do like that. How come I get the feeling I've been doing a little bit of, uh, uh, research on these. See, this one looks pretty good. This must be the one I've been using. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got that survey device upgrade in here that we'll, that we'll finish installing one of these days. This must be the one I've been using. Okay. All right. There we go. So this is the ship that you've all been seeing. You saw a peek in the, at the side there of my old ship here. Um, there we go. Um, and you'll notice, of course, in the inventory, it's pretty sparse and a lot of things have been uninstalled. Um, that is because, as I said in my last episode, I've gotten myself a new ship. I'm going to leave a couple things in the inventory and use it for storage. But this is now my new ship. Um, I found this on a planet. It is also a B-class ship. It's nothing special uh, as far as that's concerned. But it is a swept wing. Uh, and those are my favorite. They truly are my favorite type of ship. So uh, we're going to go ahead and jump in this one, switch to my primary ship. I've already got it decked out. Um, it doesn't have the best technolo technology inventory available, but my, uh, my, my weapons are in really, really good shape. I've moved my shields over. We're in really good shield shape as well. Uh, I moved a lot of the inventory over to it, so we've got everything ready to go. Um, like to upgrade it sooner or later, but we'll see what happens. This is going to be the one I'll be using for the rest of the episodes as we go through. So there we are. Um, oh, look at that. Yes, I had gotten some ferrite dust. I'll go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and do this while I'm thinking of it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and use it all. And we'll get that going. I'm going to use more carbon and condensed carbon and stuff like that. We always need elements as you start out. So that's where we are with that. As far as the um, Atlantid storyline is concerned, we're on to Prayers of the Machines. So we're going to research the properties of Atlantidium. Um, claims that all electronic hearts will react to the presence of Atlantidium, search for computing units, and observe their responses. So, we're going to follow its advice. And as you can see, this is kind of a cool-looking ship, isn't it now? Let's get up a little bit here, and we'll get into picture mode. And, yeah, let's go up a little bit higher. Pull back from it a little bit and take a look. So that's what this ship looks like. It's a very nice looking ship. I do like this one a lot. Um, pretty slick looking. As far as that's concerned, a little better lighting. The lighting on this planet is terrible because it is a dissonant world, so you know, you're not going to see much. Anyway, we got to head towards that CPU unit, so we're going to head there right now. In this system. And it's funny, it's an undiscovered planet, yet it seems like I've been here before. A corrupted planet. Interesting. Corrupted planets are usually... I don't know if they're anomalous or not. I don't quite remember. If they're anomalous, we can find one animal on it and get the 250 uh, nanites from it. Copper, phosphorus, and silver. Could use a little more phosphorus, I think. Let's take a look. Yeah, I can always use a little more of that. And sooner or later, we're going to set ourselves up a base of operations in this Isenton galaxy. Oh, it's not even that planet. 
Go figure. So where are we headed? Is this a space station or a different planet? Let's find out. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, don't tell me it's sending me to the anomaly. Yep, it is. Go figure, huh? If I'd known that, it would have pulled in the, the anomaly earlier. Sometimes when you get too close, it goes into extra slow-mo mode there. There we go. Alright, off we go. Electronic processing unit detected. Well, let's see where it's leading us, shall we? Oh, it's going to park me over on that side, and that's interesting. There we go. Oh, okay. Let's see, is my jetpack powerful enough? Yeah, okay. So apparently we're going all the way into the back again. This is Polo's uh, unit. Alright, let's see. Not an entity authorization required. Secondary simulation running. This machine is ancient and powerful, a relic of a world long since destroyed. The salvaged hardware has been restored to near pristine condition. The software lovingly maintained. So we're going to reveal the Atlantidium. Searching secondary simulation. Searching. Match found. Planetary body identified. Uh, a bunch of zeros and ones. And then that's it. Okay, and we got 13 Atlantidium out of it, but that's interesting. Present Atlantidium to an electronic heart and note its response. Scan for Atlantidium sensitive processors from space or planetary surface. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. We'll go back to our ship. Sigh. Okay, and here we go. And we're off. So we're going to scan from space as soon as we leave the anomaly. Hopefully it's not the planet we just came from, because that would be annoying. There we go. Electronic processing unit identified. Right back to the same stinking planet. Okay. Well... We'll do a little something something here. What we'll do is once we're heading there, we'll go ahead and pull in the anomaly. I just took off from the planet. How could it possibly... Well, you know what? It might have been the other planet down there. Yeah, there's multiple planets here and moons, as you can see. Activated copper. Ha ha. And pyrite. That's good. Yeah, I kind of need some of that stuff. Do we have in our possession hazmat gloves? Yes, we do. Because I'm looking at cactus flesh, I'm thinking to myself, I might want to pick some of that up, just in case. Because one of the things we're going to do after the Atlantic missions, we're going to go ahead and get our base restored on a new planet in the Isentum system. And then we're going to go ahead and finish out the base. I don't know, maybe we'll just return to our base. I'll set up a secondary base here. Oh, look at that. And there's a crashed freighter over there, too. That would be interesting. We can get some nice supplies from the crashed freighter. Okay. All right. I'm going to check these containers because even though I don't need the rusted metal this time around, I just want to make sure there's nothing in them that I need. Okay, life support gel and a Gek Relic. Don't really need the Gek Relic, but they'll stay there for the time being. Now this, as you can see, you see the sentinels around it, so as soon as we try to enter this unit, it's gonna, they're going to attack me. So let me move over to, let's see, what do we got? The bolt caster. Okay. They're going to attack. So, ready? Here we go. Breach the facility. There we go. And we are. Okay. And the Sentinels can continue to search. Now, is there anything in here we can use? I don't think so. Well, we got some nanites we can get. We'll go ahead and grab those. 
Nice. And you know what? You can safely take these guys out while you're in here. And you can get some Pugnium out of them, so that's kind of handy. I might just grab that. Be a great way to take out some of these Sentinels and get some upgrades, you know that? Yeah, thinking about it. Thinking about it. Alright, let's go back in here. So apparently we have to enter this thing. Uh, alarms protest my intuition, but the facility seems unattended. Its process is automated by an artificial intelligence. Unauthorized personnel detected. Please verify credentials to overcome override alarm. We reveal Atlantidium. Verifying. Verit. 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 It's shorting out, it sounds like. Retrieving credentials. Manufacturing protocol. Undefined. Execution failed. Execution failed. Execution failed. Bunch of zeros and ones again. Okay, we got a little Atlantidium out of it. Another 13. Uh, present Atlantidium to an electronic cart. Note its response. Perform a scan to locate Atlantidium sensitive processors. Now, it doesn't say to leave the planet or anything, so we're just going to do the scan. Whoa. Big, huge pullback. All right. Now, we're in a run to get to the center of the galaxy, so going to that freighter and picking up supplies would be a good idea. So, it looks like it's sending me off-planet to a station CPU, so I'm assuming to the space station. So, I really would like to take out these Sentinels. He's going to hit me in a minute. There we go. There we go. All right. Let me go back in here. Strange, the pieces of the door are still there. Usually they disappear. All right. So we got some salvage glass. I'm going to go in here and duck inside the, s the station after beating those guys a little bit. Let's see what we get. Hydraulic wiring, a quantum computer, and an exoframe, an exosuit upgrade. We are out of space in our exosuit, so I might just hang on to it. And we'll try to install it later, because we've already got three upgrades. Actually, we've already got three upgrades, don't we? So let's just go ahead and install it, and we'll see which one's best. 34% shield, 33% poor health, which gives us an extra heart. Hmm, let me see. Which one do I want to get rid of? 10% distance, 28% shield, 23% sprint, and 11% fuel. 10, 28, 23. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the sprint and the fuel efficiency one, I think. Yeah, that's probably the better one to get rid of. Okay. And that gives us a battery, a little more pugnium, a wiring loom, so that's always good. I can put that in my starship. We'll keep the battery, because the batteries are handy to hang on to. And we're going to put the other items into the starship for now. Including the Pugnium. I'll keep the Gek Relic on me for now. Alright. And what is that? Is that... Phase Beam. Okay, we can sell that. Alright. So... They have shut down. I'm not going to fight them anymore. I'm done with them now. Okay, we want to get to that, like I said, I want to check out the freighter over there, because I want to get some of the items from it. We'll just take a quick jaunt over here. To this crashed freighter and see what it has in store. And we're going to do it in first person view. There we go, cargo pod. Get rid of the items on the cargo pod. Salvage data, that's always handy. Now I'll head inside for a few moments. Okay. There we go. I'm going to change over to my mining laser real quick because it's easier to get through these doors. Okay, good deal. All right.
Okay, and let me get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And we got oh, salvage data. I gotta move because of that. Yes. There we go. And when I say that, it was the extreme radiation that you get from these cargo pods. I gotta keep remembering to run away from them. Okay, let's get all the crap on the cargo pod. And what are we getting out of this one? Salvage frigate module. That's nice and handy. They're they're expensive. Which is always good, you know, can come in handy, but I don't have a frigate yet. And more salvage data. I don't even have to break through this. I can just go ahead and look through the ground at it. And we're getting a multi-tool expansion. Okay, that's good. We'll hang on to it. I don't know if we're going to expand this one or expand a different one. All right, we got one more cargo pod to get. Should be over here. Right about here. There we go. Get rid of the goop and the fluids. And we got acid out of that one. Just one. Okay, what's the acid worth? 188,000, that's pretty good. All right, so we got some nice items. Let's get back in our ship, escape the heat a little bit. Uh, to do. All right, so let's see here. We have a Sentinel boundary map. We could have dropped that too, but eh, it's all right. What in the world was that? Oh, they got a worm here, huh? No, he's going that way. Okay, good. I like to check out the worms. They're pretty cool. All right, so what do we got? We're up to 17 wiring looms. Can you imagine? Good grief. All right, let's see. So we'll put the salvage frigate module in there. We're going to put the multi-tool expansion slot. Because while I want to expand my multi-tool, it's already got most of the slots opened on this one, which is an A-class multi-tool, so we don't really want to go crazy with that. So I'm going to hold off on that. And what else do we got? The acid, which will sell. Keep the battery, of course. Oxygen. We're going to drop in my exosuit, which took all 40. That's good. Okay, we'll get rid of the Gek Relic. Oh, let's put this in my ship as well. Okay, so we're going to sell that, sell that, and sell that. What was this one again? Oh, the Artemis Translator Unit. Hmm. Yeah, I'll put it in the ship for now, just to get rid of it. Okay. Looks like we're reorganized. Let's go ahead and move on. So, next stop is Space Station. There we go. Off we go. We'll be there in just a few seconds. Hmm, interesting looking station. It's kind of a... Off-white, gray, with some red highlights, neat. Black stripe running across it. Wonder if we're going to take over space stations in the next update. That'll be pretty cool. There's the station CPU at the very back, right in the middle. As usual. Okay, let's head over there. Okay, station core. Life support system stable, commercial monitoring online, fly paths management, 84% efficiency, and Atlas Air on Surveillance Uplink is functional. So we revealed the Atlanta Diem. Geological material detected. Analyzing. Planetary coordinates. Not indexed. Solar system not indexed. Unable to establish trade link. Unable to plot flight path. Oh, bunch of zeros and ones again. And, well, there we go. We'll get another 13 Atlantidium out of it. Interesting. Present Atlantidium to an electronic heart note its response. Didn't we just do that? Okay. Let me just jump in the ship first, and we're going to hit the C. Oh. 
My ship cockpit is comfortingly familiar. I take a moment to sit back and run my fingertips over the dashboard. The sensors and controls gently light up as my hand passes over them, as though responding to the presence of an old friend. Atl reveal the Atlantidium. Void detected. Bunch of zeros and ones. She is near. Ooh, creepy. Unbidden, the ship computer launches a navigational sequence. The controls, so responsive just a moment ago, ignore my input entirely. Calibrating navigation systems. Searching for void trace. Searching. Searching. Destination unknown. Destination unknown. Destination bzz. Located. Atlanta DM source detected. Destination New Atlantid, with a bunch of question marks on either side. I did not request this search. Did the ship perform this of its own accord, judging with its own artificial intelligence? Or is this the influence of some external will contained within the Atlantidium crystals themselves? Either way, I feel compelled to investigate this Atlantidium source. And it says leave. Okay. All right, so prayers to the machine look like that is complete. It has a check mark at the top left. Let me just see what happens. We research, research the properties. Seek the fragment of a new Atlantid. Atlantid Atlantidium source detected. Launch into space to investigate the starship's discovery. Okay. Here we go. Taking off. That's a nice little ship they had down there. Wish I would have gotten out and checked it out. No big deal. Moving on. Uh, activate the pulse drive to search. Okay, so we're going to kind of go into an empty area space and activate our pulse drive. Oh, it's seeking. There we go. This looks familiar, huh? Exit to pulse to intercept. Distant echo detected. Ah, incoming message. Fragment of New Atlantid. It's got a bunch of numbers. Probe the structure. It's a weird structure. It's kind of... Dodecahedron, I guess. And it looks like it's got purple crystals popping out of one end of it. And all the rest of it is just faceted with metal plates. Very interesting. Almost looks like it's got piping all around it and stuff like that, too. Ooh, the panels actually pop out and spin a little bit and insert themselves back against it. That's weird. A decayed transmission reaches my communicator. The ancient audio pops and hisses, but the voice that speaks is unmistakably Corvax. Corvax Prime Disaster Pod number 38, Log of Refugee Entity Kizimo. Day zero, I close my eye, but I cannot, but cannot close my mind. Deafening. Millions of screams deafen this entity. All entities. A great disconnection. You. Will we never see home again? Day one. The link is frayed. This entity feels distant from the convergence here. Other entities aboard say the same. The screams, even in the silence, we cannot hear one another's thoughts. We are so afraid. Day five. This entity's, my, thoughts feel private. Privately, my thoughts, those junkyard moons, the rumors true? It's kind of disjointed talk. Everything is shattered. I do not know what to believe. I have not been told what to... And there's a buzz at the end. Day 10. Crystals. Growing. Day... Question mark. Who is stowing away in our minds? Even now. Even here. Fragment. Atlant Atlas, save us. Save. The electronic voice shakes with fear. I feel uncomfortable listening to these words that seem so personal, so desperate. The ancient log crackles, the decayed tape reaching the end of its retrievable data. Yet even through the static, I hear a change of tone in the final audible word. The voice is no longer fearful. Fearful, it is defiant. Less. Weird. Extract language data. The metallic voice rings in my ears, the meaning of the word unmistakable. Something, a hunger, a longing, begins to tug inside my chest. Every blink reveals an infinite field of crimson. Ooh. Oh, there's the famous music that you get when you've finished up a mission complete. It says, mission complete, new objective, they who return seek a hidden getaway. 
So they who returned. Okay, we'd have nothing else in here. Uh, as far as secondary missions concerned, you'll see that the other missions are gone. So now we got to go back to this one, the main Atlantid mission. Seek a hidden getaway. The Voltaic staff may open doors that were once closed. Uncover portal ley lines with the scanner. Okay. Oh, a whole bunch of 16s, huh? So you can shoot this thing too, by the way. And then it blows up, and you get Atlanta DM, as you can see. You don't get in trouble for that either. You just get the Atlanta DM. I got 34 from it. Okay, let's do the scan first. We may have to land on a planet first. Oh, trace successful. Portal A lines detected. Where are you taking me, my friend? Oh. Over here. Okay. This planet with the rings, which is the corrupted planet. Going back there again. Okay. 20 seconds. Gateway detected, it says. And there's selenium on this planet, too. Copper and phosphorus and silver. Interesting. Coming into the planet now. There we go. All right, let's see what we got going on. Present Atlanta DM to a portal. Follow the energy traces to the portal. All right, so this is going to be a portal location, it sounds like. <clears throat> Hence the term gateway, I'm assuming. Now it says, does it say approximate location? Yes, it does, but I see it over there on the rise. Okay. And here we are. Oh, okay, this planet is one of those planets. The planets with all the worms on it. Okay, we got sentinels here too, but they don't seem to be attacking me, so that's good. Uh, ooh. Some cash. Uh, that's carbon, uh, good, I needed that. Microprocessor, sweet. What about this last one? Viking effigy. Eh, not so fascinating there. Okay. Alright, let's see if we have to... I think we have to activate this portal, so we're gonna have to repair it first, I'm guessing. Nope, no, not this time. The hunger inside my chest escalates near the portal. The structure demands my attention. The wind pulls me closer. We reveal Atlantidium. Something rumbles deep beneath the portal, but no voice rises in response. If there is any intelligence in this ancient technology, it is mute. Yet... I have a sense of anticipation, as though some great fo force is poised to erupt. Hmm. Should we say the word Atlas, or wield the Volta Voltaic Staff? Let's do the Staff, I think, personally. I present the Voltaic Staff, its spark sending a jolt through my bones. Ooh, the portal just went purple. The rumble glows, grows louder. Something is awakening. So now we're going to say Atlas. Recalling the fragment of New Atlantid, in its ancient Corvax log, I murmur the autophage word, Atlas. Ooh, the portal is definitely purple, with lightning shooting out of it. Awesome. This is really cool. I think this is like a photo. It's photo time. I think right about there. And then we'll turn around. Let's hit the five. That's my hotkey. Oh, yeah. What do you think? I think this is a really cool picture. Get that lined up just right. Uh, you know what? We're not getting the top of the portal. Let's see if we can get the top of it. Hmm, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Let's try it, though. Wow, that is a big tall portal. Okay. Pull back just a little bit. I like it. I like it. Let's take that picture. So, watch for that picture on my Instagram account. Insta Instagram account is Alon Paul NMS for No Man's Sky. All one word. Awesome. Alright, let's go through the portal and see what it does for us. Wow. That is really, really neat. I'm 
Sorry, can't help it. Gotta look and see what we got here. Okay, let's go. I was thinking about doing a gesture and taking a picture. Didn't work out. Let's see where we end up. You know, I didn't think about it. I wonder if we're going to be damaged by this. It has been about, I don't know what, five, six months since I actually went through this. Oh, I'm in space. You know what this means. Picture time. Nice. Yeah, I know about the oxygen. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. Is there anything else in this background that looks pretty good? Uh, let's see. I don't know what system we're in. Might even be the same system. I don't know. Let's see. Where's my oxygen at? There it is. There we go. Yeah, we shouldn't have to do it again. Hey! We got sucked into the Atlas. Very interesting. No ship here, so it's going to kick us back out the same way. So, what do you say? We go talk to it. It doesn't look like there's any of those little bubbles we can pop in order to get some of the words, so... Let's move on. Interesting. All oh, the distortionary effects. Really cool. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. The Atlas is unknowable, a mind too alien to comprehend. There is nothing to indicate it is even aware of my presence. And yet, it seems inevitable that my path led here. I could not prevent it. I could not resist. Reveal Atlantidium. Access denied. Non-index data detected. Cannot delete. Data corrupted and unreadable. Ooh. Let's push the Atlantidium closer. It says push closer or put it away. Let's push it closer. I hold the ethereal substance toward the beating core. Ooh, the core just went purple. Catastrophic, catastrophic system failure. Alert, alert. 16 minutes. Bolts of corruption swim across the crimson interface. The Atlas cries out. If it is capable of distress, it is capable of fear. Then I think it must be afraid. Yet it has brought me here for a purpose. Let's watch. It says watch or turn away. We're going to watch. As I stare into the vast red orb, images f begin to take form. The Atlas shows me the lost intelligence of Corbeck's prime. Thriving, bawling, waiting blind and alone. For children stranded in the dark, rebuilding their own bodies from nothing. The autophage it shows me a future in a reality I do not recognize. Wires loosened from their circuits, transistors failing, memories dissolving, dispersed like ink in water. The atlas hurtles towards its own dark. In a time and a space I cannot begin to understand, it cries out. It demands compliance. Well, I've got two choices, submit or question. It says it demands compliance, and if you're really going with the Atlantid storyline and leaning more towards being the Atlantid rather than the Atlas, you would question it, not submit. Let's question it. Deleting non-index data. Cannot delete. Access denied. The Atlas is all creation. The Atlas is everything. The autophage are children of the Atlas, too. They must be. But why did they return from the dark? Why are they here? Should we choose fear or hope? I'm going to choose hope. Are the autophage a manifestation of hope? The mother and the children of the void are proof of rebirth, of a second chance, of the permanence of data in the face of erasure. The Atlas cries out again. So we submit, defy, or comfort? I'm going to defy. The very existence of the autophage is an act of resistance. They choose life. They reject the reality of death. They defy the Atlas. They prove it is possible. The Atlas says nothing. Does it hear my defiance? Is it disappointed? I cannot truly know what it thinks. All I know is my own mind. I am released. And everything went back to normal. Oop. 
being rebooted out of the system here. And back to the portal. Wow. I mean, even the audio gets creepy sometimes. Okay, we should be popping back in in just a second. Come on. Ah, restore points saved. Whoa. Bountiful planet. Uh, weather temperate, sentinels frequent, flora abundant, and fauna numerous. Santo Prime, first contact. Where in the world am I? Now, they who return consult with, Na with Nada. You X to summon your ship. Okay, we can do that. And consult Nada about the encounter with the Atlas. Wow, I mean, what a what a nice looking planet this is. Uh, weather's temperate. Um, I'm kind of liking this planet, to be honest. How far away is the ship? 493, there's no reason to summon it. I'm going to go ahead and... What, what kind of elements are here? Copper, paraffinium, cobalt. The usual. I could use some paraffinium, you know. It's paraffinium on the way. I might just do that. And I, I don't think we need any more copper, right? We're good on copper. I know the starship's far away. We can at least check. Yeah, we're good on copper. We could use some paraffinium. Let's go ahead and grab some. Wow, look at this place. Grass is very nice. A beautiful sky. It's got like a purple tinge to it. Got some purple trees. Dude, I mean, I'm really liking this planet. I'm digging it a lot. I've been looking for some place I can set up a new base, so... Um, you know what? This might be the place. Seven species of animal on the planet. Yeah, I can't see that one. Well, looks like there was a building behind me. Could have checked it out. Sorry, looking for more animals and maybe some flying creatures. I'm not seeing anything just yet. Okay, let's move on. But what a what a, a incredible looking place, right? Beautiful green grass. I mean, if there's any storms, that could be a problem, but... I got a funny feeling when it says Bountiful, it's just a good planet. Hmm. Carbon and oxygen from this one. Nope. There we go. There we go. How much carbon we get? Good. Yep. I think we have ourselves some place that we can live. All right, let's grab the paraffinium on the way. And the reason I want that is because uh, it's, it's a handy element to have in your inventory. You can make it. Of course, you know, there's ways to make it with a medium refiner and everything like that, using other items. But if you got a planet with it on there, just go ahead and take it. I figure a couple hundred of it ought to do. Just, you know, 300, 400 of it, I don't know, something like that. So again, remember, this is not just a playthrough, so to speak, not just story, because, you know, I decided uh, after playing it for a little bit that I, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do it story, story mode anyway, because it just makes it a little more in-depth. But the whole purpose is that we're trying to survive and make it to the center of the galaxy. So we'll need this stuff if we're going to make it. This looks like a really good deposit of this stuff. There are other ways to get it, too, but this would be the best way at this point. Alright, I think we've got enough to go one level higher and take the rest. One level larger on the digging, and we'll pull in all the rest of it. There we go. There we go. Okay, that should do it. How much did we end up with? Uh, 400? Yeah, not bad. Another animal. 
Well, looks like there's a building down there too. And there's our ship. What do you know? Ship's flying over overhead. Good. This looks like just like the beginning of the game. We'll get that little graphic glitch there that we always get. This time we're not going to report. Scenario iteration deleted, boundary separation, cause. We're just going to leave. Traveler detected, refused registration. Position log, system integrity scan initialized. Okay. Never done it that way before, so I want to see what would happen. Okay, nothing found in these containers. Projectile ammunition. Relics, yay. And in the damaged machinery, just probably going to get some nanites. Starship launch fuel instead. And there is a... there it is. Very tech. Alright, we got that. Uh, gave us two. Alright, that's good. This in my starship, even though I'm probably not going to use it. Yeah, recharging our oxygen levels, life support, if you will. Looks like nothing got damaged. There we go. Okay. Starship looks to be okay as well. Alright. Running out of space in our ship, though, so we'll have to think about that. Alright. Alright. So, what's our objective? I think mainly my objective now is I'd like to go ahead and establish a base on this planet. Because this looks like a fabulous planet to have a base on. I just want to see what this building is here. Oh, it's an abandoned structure. Okay, that's not going to help me out all that much. More biological entities. That's number three. Only seven on the planet. I wonder if the planet has any water flying creatures. That's four. Oh, he disappeared just after I scanned him. That's funny. That noise isn't going to stop until I scan something else. There we go. Okay. When something disappears while you're scanning it, that's what happens, unfortunately. Alright, let's take a look at the planet real quick on Discoveries and just see... Yeah, actually does have some water on it. That's good. And the other creatures are ground and two underground. So even though it does have some water on it, it doesn't seem to have any underwater creatures. Okay. So we'll head over to the water at some point. Okay, so what's next? Let's find out, shall we? We're getting to the end of our episode here, so we want to finish this up. We want to consult with Nado, of course. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to look for a nice place to establish a base here. And I can come back and I can rebuild something. I'd love to be near that water, if that is the correct thing. I think it is. That's a little north of us. That's south. So it should be this way. Oh, is that? Sure enough is. Look at that. Sentinel pillar. Well, what's the chances of that, huh? So since I'm going to be recording these episodes back to back, we'll go ahead and shut down the sentinels. And shut down. Done. And let's see what kind of weapon we got here. Nothing special at all. A C-Class that has already stuff in it that I've already got. Log off. Okay. And also reboot that. Let's go ahead and pull out the laser. Okay, one. Because this will give us salvage glass and sometimes pugnium. There we go. Quad servo. Nice. Alright. There should be some combat supplies laying around around here someplace. 
Uh, let's see. He can't be the only one. That's weird. I'm gonna check out these containers over here. Alright, so we'll do the Nada Polo thing in just a moment once I check out all these cargo containers real fast. Okay, good deal. What do we get? Gek Relic. My keen effigy again. But one, one more of each of those. There are buildings everywhere. I don't know if you guys have seen this. There's like buildings every single way I turn. I'm going to check that one out first since it's closer. I only seem to get one uh, creature. Oh, is that? Oh, okay, that's a economy scanner. A beacon, if you will. Uh, you know what? Let me go ahead and use it real quick because that'll give me access to either a landing pad or a minor settlement. And I do want that. You'll notice it's also Atlanted. I don't have any void modes. Oh, look at that. There's a landing... Uh, what do you call it? A trading outpost right next to it. Jeez. Am I on a moon? Minor settlement detected. Okay. And it is nine hours away, so it's on the other end of the planet. And because it did a scan, I have Atlantid guys popped up here. Hi there, buddy. So we could do missions for them and actually get someplace with them, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Let me check the synthesis terminal real fast. I don't think I have any void modes. Yeah, I'm all out. Uh, let's see. Got nice chambers on here. The runic focus, that's nice. So that's something to think about. Good to see you, my friend. You know, we could get void motes out of these guys, I think. Let me talk to one of them. I'm not going to go through it real quick here. Uh, present a gift to offer assistance and practice language. Okay, I'm going to hold off because I don't want to ruin that for our episode here. Okay? Alright, so we know that there's a trading outpost nearby, a landing facility type thing. Ooh, more creatures to scan. That's our other ground-based creatures. So now we have two underground creatures I need to find. All right, let's head back to our ship. I like to, as you know, I like to make bases up where my... Uh, usually near a minor trading outpost. There we go. Before I do that, I think there was another, you know, another structure right there. I'm going to check that one out real quick. Just wanted to highlight it. And it looks like just a camp spot. Yeah. Just a little camp spot, that's it. Okay, and there was a trading outpost. Is it this way? There it is. It looks like there's another building out over there as well. Good grief. You'd think this place was a moon. I wonder what it is. Can't tell from here yet. I'm working on it. Check out these damaged containers here real quick. Ion battery. Some projectile ammunition. A lot of projectile ammunition. Apparently all the rest of them contained that. Okay, what do we have in this trade terminal? So we're going to sell some stuff because we want to get rid of it. I'm going to keep the quad servo. Those are handy. Acid. We'll get rid of that. Gek relics. And the Viking effigies. Ooh, I have three salvage glass I haven't opened yet. Got plenty of pugnium. What's in my ship? Let's sell the fragment. The frigate module, but I'm not going to. Uh, repair kit, storage augmentation will keep, echolocator will keep. We don't need the launch fuel. Nah, I'll hang on to it. Got some storm crystals, I'm going to hang on to those too. 
just a little bit of void motes. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to sell any of this stuff, to be honest with you. I'm going to keep most of it. What is in their inventory to purchase? Oh, just uh, two screens, and that's it. Nothing. Must not be a very popular system. I'm assuming it's a low... Let me see here. Low resource system. I wanted to check out the ships that were here real quick, just to see what kind of ships they've got. Okay, so Explorer class, we got a Hauler class. Weird, it has TIE Fighter wings on it. Never seen one of those before. Oh, some fighter, fighter there. It's a C class, not worth much, but... It's worth looking at. Needle nose. That's a good looking structure. Good looking unit. Take a look at the coloring of it. Oh, look at that. It's kind of... Green and silver, green and chrome, if you will. Nice. Nice. Looks pretty good. Good. Good looking unit. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and another Explorer class. Okay, good. Alright, let's get out of here. And that structure there, what do you think that might be? Hmm. Something to find a crash ship, huh? Uh, should we go that route and try to find crash ships, or should we hold off? I think I think we're going to hold off on it. I don't think there's any reason to continue on doing that nonsense. Let's um go after the minor settlement. Let's go out into space. We'll set up a base computer there. I'm not going to set up a base yet, just a base computer. Should be on the daylight side almost. Nope, not quite. Not quite daylight. All right, coming in on it. I mean, what a good looking planet this is. I really like this place a lot. Yep, minor settlement. We'll check out the multi tool. We'll go outside and drop a base computer down. Because you got to check out the multi tool. I'll never hear the end of it if I don't. And we got some caves nearby. That's good, too. Uh, let's see. Multi-tool. Eh. C-class. And it's got nothing. Let's grab some nanites. Oh, Viking, huh? Let's talk to the Viking in here. Ah, uh, they flare in hope and expectation. They show me their personal data pad revealing a set of highly detailed military plans. Interloper. Viking something pathetic, as usual. On one side of the battlefield stands the creature's own warrior race, and on the other side, robotic sentinels. The warrior demands that I point to one side to the other. Oh, warriors, definitely. He grunts, nodding enthusiastically. They mark our new friendship by handing me tribute. Whoa, an S-Class Bolt Cluster module. Sweet. Uh, how's my multi-tool doing? Yeah, we've got plenty of room. Let's go ahead and put it in. Nice. Alright, so what does it give me? Minus plus one damage... Minus 18 reload and minus 15% cooldown. And 1.3 shots per burst. Hmm. Now oh, the fire rate on that one is good. Reload is minus 13, minus 15. So the 13 burst cooldown, minus 15. So the reload on the one I have now is better than this one. So this has a clip size of plus 8. This has plus 2 damage, plus 15 fire. We want to keep that one. That one, I don't know. Um, I think we're going to go with the new one we just got out of between these two. So we're going to drop that one out. This one in. And it's getting those same 8,000 damage. That's pretty good. Technology supercharge. Yep, well that's interesting. Gives us more damage over there. Okay, good deal. Alright, so how are we doing otherwise? What do we got? Uh, we got plenty of Pugnium. Oh, we forgot to open those up. Uh, we got Exosuit Fragments. I'm going to not use it in a weapon shard. Um, 
I'm going to sell them for nanites, I think. Put this in my ship. I'm going to put this in my ship. That is the quad servo, and we're going to put the pugnium in there, too. Keep the paraffinium on my person. Okay, so we have three... Uh, what do you call it? Upgrades to sell for nanites. We'll go ahead and get rid of those. What do you have for you for us in your inventory, sir? Wiring looms. Exosuit upgrade chart. Hmm. That's interesting. I really could use an upgrade. Got to remember to do that in the anomaly too, by the way. Okay. Yeah, they've got nothing really that I need. And an inventory over here. Also nothing. We got platinum, but now we don't really need it. All right, good. Let's drop that base computer down we were talking about. Uh, there you are. And put you down right over here. Okay. And claim the base. Claim the site. Claim the base. Look at those square rock-like structures. They're really, really cool, but they're really like almost like posts with circular um, units you can fly through. That's pretty cool. Anyway, let's go ahead for the anomaly, shall we? So now we got a base on this planet, and we'll remember that. Oh, there's some animals we could have scanned. We'll scan them later. There we go. Anomaly pulled in. So we're going to end the episode here in the Anomaly. One hour episode. I was hoping to make it about 45 minutes, but that's okay. A lot happened on this episode. Introduce you to my new ship. We've got the Atlantid mission storyline progressing. I think we're going to finish it in the next episode, if I'm not mistaken. And then we'll be moving on to getting our base completed. And then out of here. Then we're going to start going through the center of the galaxy. Now we have all the other missions. Like I said, we want to complete all the missions that we have, the secondary missions. So we're going to do Dreams of the Deep. We're going to do the, uh, the, 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 what do you call it, the settlement as well at some point. Nada stiffens. Are you well, friend entity? Tell Nada about the Atlas. Atlas Falsity was afraid? Nada was, has not considered this possibility. Curious. A traveler should be wary. Atlas False Entity is a liar. Purple Lattice exists where it cannot. Challenges the Atlas Falsity. Proves it is not deity. Nada always knew. But Nada has not, had not realized. Do you have the Purple Lattice here? Revealed Atlantidium. Nada takes the Purple Crystal, holding it gently in their palm. A shudder runs through their carapace. Their facial lights blinking erratically. They are lost in some private emotion, some memory. I do not interrupt. She was home once. Whoa, that's deep. May Nada keep this friend entity? Give the Atlantidium. Nada is grateful. Thank you for this memory. The builder entities, the purple lattice. Nada does not think there is cause for fear, not for us. For Atlas Falsity, perhaps. Nada's light, lights blink just once. And Nada does not quarantine our friendship. There is plenty. Make your path forward, traveler. Make friends. It is your way. Nada and Polo will always be here. Leave. Whoa, that was deep stuff, man. So think about that in relation to light, no fire. Just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. So they who returned look like a nude guy entry. Wait a second. Does that mean we just completed it? Go to our log. My gosh, I think we did. Yes, we did. We have completed the Atlantid storyline. Holy mackerel. All right, so what does this mean? This means that in our next episode, we're going to set up a base on our planet over here that we found, or that we've appeared on. I have no idea where in the galaxy we are, in the Isentum galaxy, that is. But we're going to go ahead and complete that. Uh, don't forget to do your anomaly missions, folks. That's what that little icon on the top means. Okay. Over the weekends. All right. So that should do it. I'm going to go ahead and finish up right now. I want to thank you all for watching, and we're going to see you all in the next episode. Again, we're going to set up a base uh, on this new planet. I'm going to kind of go through it as quickly as possible. I may set up the base on my own off camera and just get that set up because there's not a lot of danger in setting up a base. There's really no reason to drag you through that nonsense all over again. 
So once I have it complete, the next episode will pick up from the completed base. And then we're going to pick up on base missions from that point. We're going to complete out all the base missions and get everything done for the agricultural point of view, from the um, other points of view of the different characters that are in the base. I think we've already done the weaponry one, so that's all set. But we want to complete them all so that the base is completed. And then from there, we'll go on to the secondary missions. I'm going to do Dreams of the Deep, if we haven't already. I don't think we did. And we're going to do the um, uh, settlement missions as well. And as far as settlement's concerned, I'm not sure how we're going to go about doing it, because as you acquire the settlement and you start building things on it, we'll come back to it from time to time in further down the line episodes. And I'll try to highlight it in the title of the episode so you guys know what we're doing. All right, so there we go. So we're going to go ahead and quit here, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Take care, everybody.